Hey, it's Mike from Party for Crafts, and today I'm going to show you how to do a project from beginning to end on the Houtian Fiber Laser. This is a 30 watt JPT laser. I'm going to show you from beginning to end how to do it. So to start out, I'm going to be engraving like a Damascus steel pattern on this. It's just a little pocket knife that's made of stainless steel. So first thing you have to do is focus it. I like to focus it before I turn the machine on because before you turn the machine on, this knob on top works. Uh, once you turn the machine on, that knob doesn't turn anymore. Um, once that motor is engaged, you can't turn it. And then you have to rely on buttons on the front. But there's an up button and a down button, and sometimes they go too far, and I can't, I can't get it precise enough to set the focus. So to set the focus, there's a line right here, and right above the line, it says that this line is supposed to be 280 millimeters, which is 28 centimeters above the surface of the, the thing that you're engraving. So I set this ruler right on top of it. And if the camera wasn't there, and if the camera wasn't there, I would get my head right down, even with this, to make sure that I'm seeing it clearly. And then I turn the knob until that red line lines up with the 28 centimeter mark right there. Now it's in focus, and I can turn the machine on. Now before I start using the machine, I put on a mask because it kicks metal dust up in the air and you do not want to breathe that stuff. And also, there's no shield around this laser. So you have to wear goggles while you're using it. Uh, very important to wear the goggles. I'm going to switch over now to the computer so you can see what I'm doing in, in light burn here. So I have the project loaded up in Lightburn, and just like with anything else, I have the settings over here. You can double click on those, and the engraved settings come up. So you can see here, I'm doing a speed of 300, power of 85, a frequency of 20 kilohertz, and a line interval of 0.05. Those are the important settings right there. And to make sure everything's okay, to get an estimate of how long the job's going to take, I always click the preview button first. If I forget and leave some text in there, or if there's an engrave that's, that's an open path, then uh, this will tell me. So I always do that first. Then the next step is I click start, and I have it set so it, it forces me to frame the job before it starts. So I can click it and it'll automatically frame. If you don't have that set up, you can click the frame button first. Either way, it does exactly the same thing because of that setting. So right now, over here, it is framing that job. And I can see on the camera, it looks like it's spinning. In real life, it doesn't really look like that. So I'm gonna get that framed so that it fits perfectly in that area right there. A little bit farther that way. And now that's all there is to it. Uh, I didn't really look closely when I hit the preview button to see how long it's going to take. It's only going to take 35 seconds to engrave this. Now I just click start and here we go. It's framing again. Start. This is actual real speed. This one's not sped up or anything like that. Like you saw, it takes about 35 seconds to do the whole thing. That's it, it's done. So let me take it out. It's not as hot as you would think it would be. Like I could touch it right now. It's a little warm, but not hot. I'm gonna clean it off with some alcohol, but you can kind of see how, how that turned out. And a lot of that brown color will come off when I clean it. All right, so there it is after cleaning, a little 
Damascus steel pattern on this the small pocket this pocket knife and uh, I think it looks cool took 35 seconds super easy saw the entire process from beginning to end I actually have both sides engraved now uh, pretty cool I could put a name on it or whatever pattern or logo I wanted to and super fast it looks great all right see you next time